have in front of me here a 960H uh, 50 meter bullet camera. So this is a pretty high end camera. You can see the general design of it is very impressive. Um, in terms of the specifications on it, uh, it has 50 meter uh, IR through these two very large LEDs and also it has a very focal lens going from 2.8 all the way up to 12 millimeters. Uh, so the format of the video is I'm just going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the box. We'll have a detailed look at the camera itself and then what we'll do is we'll just test a few things, bring up the menus etc. Because we have this camera uh, which is mounted on a tripod and outputting onto this television working here now. So it comes in this outer box here. Um, in terms of, uh, there's a user manual here, it's short and brief, but it just shows a few things uh, in relation to the setup on it. And also you can see how you can change the bracket to mount it from above rather than directly out, okay? Um, what do you call it? We have a template here we could use for marking a wall, mounting the camera that way. And we have four plugs uh, and four screws here. And we have a screwdriver and also an Allen key, okay? Now the basic idea behind this is, um, uh, what do you call it? You have everything there that you need to um, mount the camera and do the adjustments that you need. There's a cover on the camera here. This is obviously a sunshine uh, block or a rain block from getting directly onto the lens. So you can uh, adjust this and slide it forward or backwards. To make the demonstration easier, I'm just going to remove it here. And we're going to see on the front, in the center, we have our very focal lens. Again, from 2.8 to 12 millimeters, and we have our two large LEDs here. Um, if we turn the unit over and we look in the bottom here, we can see I've used the Allen key to undo these two locking nuts. And if we look inside here, we'll see there's two forms of adjustment. The first thing here is a hard physical adjustment here for both the zoom and uh, the focus. So we can just unlock those and thing, and we can see we can use the screwdriver for this again. And here we'll say we have a little toggle which we can press down on to bring up the menu, make selections. And also we have an adjustment for the LED brightness to avoid glare or the focus, give a lot of light for something that's far away. And also there's a spot monitor connection. Normally people don't use that, but you could. People are normally using something like a CCTV um, monitor, things like that. Um, just a test monitor that's battery operated and taken an output directly from the BNC, but it is an option there. So, um, what do you call it? If we look at the connections on it, we'll see that the connection here is there's a BNC connection here for the picture output, and this 2.1 millimeter uh, power uh, jack just pushes in here, and that'll allow you to connect on to, we'll say, something like RG59 with power or maybe a Cat5. So what we'll do here is I'm just going to lean over here. We have this set up here now. And if I press this uh, central toggle button here, I'll actually just rotate it to show again. Just this one here. And uh, we can come along and we can bring up a menu here. So I'll just press in on that. And we can just go down through. We can change the different things, lens, shutter settings. And this actually brings us to a second menu here. We can go on down there, privacy, day or night. Um, so there's just lots and lots of settings for a specific setup you can have. So there's great versatility in, in terms of the camera. Um, as well, of course, as I mentioned, you have the LED variants there. What I might do at that point is actually just nip over here, we'll knock off the lights, and we'll just see how quickly it adjusts the night vision and how clear it can be at night time. So we'll just talk about this for a moment. And then, now I'll just say, of course, this is something that has a 50 meter range, and we're very, very close to the thing. We're only about two meters away, but it's just, the setup in the room here as such. But you can see here, we generally have um, good resolution on it, things like that. And uh, I just knock the lights back on. Now a typical application of a camera like this would be for covering something like a driveway, because you have both the length and you have the ability then to focus it in on a specific area, particularly if you're trying to pick up, you know, a car coming in, something like that. So it can be excellent from that perspective. Uh, within the range of our cameras, we have our standard definition, uh, 960H, these are still very, very popular um, with professional sales thing. The coming thing is AHD, which is analog high definition. It has um, a higher picture resolution than this again. Hasn't quite the range of cameras yet, and also the price point is, is considerably higher on the AHD. Something like this, though, is very, very good. Um, you know, but for our own setups, things like that, we often would use uh, cameras like this. So that's it anyway, an overview of the 50 meter uh, AHD, or sorry, high def, uh, definition 960H um, bullet camera.